good job. Today I'm gonna show you how to get faster without actually running. All right, all right, to start off this workout, you need two pairs of resistant bands. You're gonna put them on exactly how I'm doing it right here. We're gonna do three sets of 15 seconds of swinging your arms fast as you can, basically like you're sprinting, but without actually using your legs. The goal of this is to implement proper running mechanics and to help increase the arm movement speed because the faster that your arms move, the faster that everything goes. So we're just working on this part. So if you're not able to run, you'll be able to do this and we're gonna superset it with it all for three sets as well. Now we're gonna do the same thing for set two. I'm just facing you this time. So that way you can see what it looks like from the front view. You really wanna keep still your core engage and then really driving with your arms shoulders and lats yes the five second countdown is what you do it's just the transition from you doing the set with the superset so you can go ahead and do that for yourself i didn't mention earlier but most definitely do that so that way you have time to reset all right last set of this one I'm going to show you from the behind angle of what it looks like as you can see that i'm really pushing fast as i can because i'm really trying to take off with somebody when i'm actually going to sprint so do the same thing just think of you trying to run away from the cops or run away from somebody that's chasing you all right so when you're watching as you see me doing a lot of backswing the backswing is when you're first starting off running but try not to do this because you can see i keep on continually doing it you really want to be from hip pocket to cheek. So keep it like that the whole time. All right, now we're gonna switch over to the dumbbells. It's gonna be the same concept. Three sets of 15 sprints with the dumbbells. So keep it nice and tall, core tight, pushing it fast as you can. It's kind of hard to do that once after you just did a set of resistant bands. You're gonna feel like you can't move, but you gotta keep on pushing. Then you're gonna superset that with the five second countdown with moving it fast as you can with free hands. You should feel fast as possible, so push. All right, on a set two, same thing. You can see me nice and tall, cores engaged. You don't see me swinging back and forth. All you see is the shoulders and the arm movement. I'm keeping it nice and still. Take advantage of this five second countdown. It's really gonna help you catch your breath for five seconds and then you get back to it and push fast as you can. You running from everyone and they can't catch you like Derrick Henry on Sunday. On to the last set of this man. It's about how bad you want this. Are you gonna finish this workout or you not, man? That's exactly what I'm thinking and I'm telling myself. And if you're gonna try this workout, that's exactly what you tell yourself. What's the point of you doing this if you ain't gonna finish it, man? So go ahead and finish it. Also, if you think I'm running this fast because a potential is around, you're right, but that's not the only reason why. It's because I'm really pushing so I can get fast. All right, now we're gonna transition to the floor. We're doing the same two exercises with supersets as we did when we're standing up. But this time, we're just seated. We got three sets of 15 seconds with the resistant bands, and we're gonna superset that with 15 seconds without. There is something helpful I want to let you all know is that if you take a deep breath before beginning these exercises and exhale when you start, it really helps you move faster as possible. I don't know if that makes sense, but it actually works. Just try it, I promise.
These are the last sets of the resistant bands. As you can see, I'm really moving. Like, I'm really trying to not get caught by nobody. Hey, man, you got to tell Flash to get me in a race. And the same thing will be able for you to do if you try these exercises. So you got to do these, man. You're gonna feel a little bit tired in your arms and maybe your breath a little bit, but more so your arms, but just keep on pushing, man, because when you're tired in a game or you're tired in a race, you gotta keep pumping your arms. That's the purpose of these workouts. As you can see, we switched over to the dumbbells. We're gonna finish off with three sets with the dumbbell 15 second sprints. And then we're gonna superset that with three sets of 15 seconds without. Let's see how this go, man. Second to last exercise. As you can see, you really see them lats engaging. I was glad that I showed this angle. You see the lats engaging. You see that proper elbow swing. And you see me just coming straight up and down. As well, I'm pushing my shoulders forward. Hey man, if you actually need motivation and you feel like you're not pushing this hard, Think of something that really motivates you to go and grind and work out. Think about that and it just go, man. Use that hate or energy as fuel so you can get better. All right, last set down, man. As you can see, I'm really just trying to hang in there with my arms and shoulders. Got to keep pushing through. Last 15 seconds. Let's get it, man. If you're doing this, keep pushing. y'all that concludes today's workout i hope this helped you get faster and help you think about things that you could do if you're not able to run still want to work on that arm swing you know as fast as you can make sure y'all like comment below if you found this helpful subscribe to the channel stay tuned for what's next